Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, Queen at Heart, where we bring you Disney, melanin, and magic. I'm Janani, and today um, we are doing some last minute packing for Disney World. Uh, we leave tonight, and you guys, I am super, super excited. So let me show you some of the things I packed. All right guys, so when I pack, one of the things I like to do is I bring everything downstairs just because I don't like to pack a suitcase and then lug the heavy thing downstairs. Also, I like my room and <laughs> to be able to walk around. And one thing that I refuse to do is put my suitcase on the bed. I can't stand when I'm watching packing videos and people have their suitcases on the bed. I just think it's disgusting. I don't know how people do it. Anyway. Um, we are going for 10 days. I was trying to pack light. I don't think that's going to happen, but I, I think I kind of did okay. Okay, so this is the check-in bag, which has m pretty much most of my stuff in there, if not all of my stuff. This is my son's carry-on. He's little, so of course, all his stuff fits in here perfectly. And then this is my carry-on. So let's go ahead and dive in and look at what we got. Okay, so for my son, this is all his stuff. I use packing cubes and I also roll my clothes. Um, his father was a military and he actually taught me how to roll my clothes for packing and it works brilliantly, especially with packing cubes. I know a lot of people like to do the Marie Kondo method. I've actually tested both and rolling is much, much better. Okay, so this is one of my son's packing cubes. In this packing cube, I have his uh, t-shirts. There's a t-shirt for each day that we will be there, plus a couple of extras, you know, just in case, you know, we need to change or he gets messy or something like that. A lot of these t-shirts are um, Mandalorian and Baby Yoda and Avengers and Fortnite. I'm not gonna unroll them, but you will see them, I'm sure, in the vlogs and on Instagram. So in this cube, are pretty much most of his bottoms my son loves shorts like if it's a blizzard outside he wants to wear shorts specifically basketball shorts he gets that from his dad basketball shorts and t-shirts are his definition of style and comfortability which is fine with me um so basketball shorts are in here i did pack a pair of chino shorts just to get away from the basketball shorts for a little bit um he also loves joggers and sweatpants so he has his nike sweatpants here um his favorite spider-man basketball shorts um a rash guard for swim um, like I said, a couple of sweat joggers. And then this is um, his Vans, um, kind of like a dress shirt. I would kind of say, you know, just in case we go to a nice dinner or something like that. And then over here are more of his shorts. He loves like these utility like shorts. He just, he loves these. This is his thing. So he has a few pairs of those. And then of course, got a couple of pairs of jeans and then of course you know a windbreaker like raincoat because you know Florida and then um, one that's a little bit more heavy like a sweater just in case he gets a little bit cool and then he also has going into his carry-on his adidas slippers for the pool so he has easy access to that and I put these in here and then his main shoes in my other bag just you know in case they lose our luggage or whatever he has some slippers and then he has the shoes on his feet so that could at least save him in a pinch and then in this cube are his underwear swim trunks a couple of pairs of pajamas and some wife beaters i'm not going to open that up show you his underwear that would just be weird and then on the plane he'll be wearing this sweatshirt and sweatpants um, so that he's comfortable. We do have an overnight flight, so a red eye flight, and it is cold here in Colorado. We just had a major snowstorm pass through and there's still snow on the ground. So that's what he'll be wearing on the plane to keep warm and comfortable. On to my stuff. We have a, a lot going on in here that I am going to show you in just a bit. So in this cube, this is kind of more along the lines of loungewear plus I guess some other things so I do have my Tomorrowland 
a windbreaker that I was gifted, well not gifted, but paid for, got my subscription box from Mickey Lou. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure you check out that video. I love this thing and I cannot wait to wear it. Um, another thing that I like to lounge around in, I might wear this out, I don't know, but I like spirit jerseys. This one is the Lion King and let me show you guys. It's so cute, I love the color, but that's the back of it. Lion King spirit jersey. I love that, so lounge around in that. Um, also some biker shorts, so this would be this and this, uh, the spirit jersey and the biker shorts. So nice and comfortable to lounge in, I love biker shorts. I also have a swimsuit for the water park, I have another swimsuit as well. And then I bought um, my tie-dye sweatpants that I got from Old Navy. And then I have like a couple of camis and tees um, that I got in here from Walmart. This is just, you know, to lounge around or maybe even use to layer up if I need to. I also have some sweat shorts that I love that I just picked up from Walmart. They're super cute, they have a rainbow on it. And then this is my Disneyland mermaid tee that I got from, it was either Mickey Lou or Bibbidi, I can't remember. But it has a bunch of fuzzies on here. I'm actually um, bringing my fabric shaver so I could shave it off, but I love to lounge around in this and it is super, super soft. Oh my God, I love it. And let me show you, I'm gonna have to roll all these things, but it's okay, rolling is simple, rolling is simple. But these sweat shorts are so cute and they have like a little rainbow. And then I have my light Mickey sweater. You guys have seen this sweater before, but it's super cute, just a light sweater, you know, just in case, whether I want to lounge around in it or if it gets chilly and I need to wear it out. And then in this cube, I have mostly bottoms and some other things that I could fit in. One is like one of my favorite skirts, it's an African print skirt that I um, plan to wear to Animal Kingdom as along with my black Queen of Zamunda t-shirt. And then I have a pair of linen pants. I love these pants, I got these from Old Navy. I've had these for a couple of years. And then I have blue jeans. These are some um, light wash shorts. These are some black denim. This is my long sleeve Mandalorian Yoda t-shirt. I, um, I tucked it tight, as you can see, so I'm not gonna unravel it, but I mean, you'll see it in the vlogs and um, on Instagram. And then this is just like a chambray shirt, um, something that I can just layer if it gets chilly. This is my Kingdom of Zamunda Queen to Be t-shirt coming to America that I got from a Target that, like I said, I am going to wear with um, my skirt to Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna tie it up. And then this is the Pocahontas shirt. I know every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. Um, it is gorgeous. And I will link the Etsy shop that I got this from below. And then I have my Muses t-shirt that I am in love with. Oh my gosh, I adore this shirt. And then I have Oh, I thought I rolled it out for you guys, but I didn't. This is also from Target. Um, this is a Princess Tiana t-shirt and it is beautiful. So that is from Target. So those are my cute t-shirts and I have a couple more in my carry-on that I'm gonna show you. And then this is a sweater that I am bringing. It's a vibe. And then I'm also bringing a, a dress. Yes, I shop at Shein and I keep their bags because they're perfect for things like this. This is just a, um, a denim utility dress that I picked up from Walmart. I actually got these in two different colors. I have this denim one and then I have a gray and white striped ones and they were on clearance for $11. And then over here is like like accessories and stuff. Like I have my roll up toiletry bag that I got from Mary Kay years ago. And you know, just some basic stuff here, you know, toothpaste, mouthwash, toothbrush. Um, when I travel, I just buy another toothbrush because I have a electric toothbrush, the, the Philips, um, like diamond care toothbrush that comes in a case and you have to charge and it's heavy. I don't wanna worry about that. So I just bought another toothbrush. And then this is my favorite nightly lip balm. I use a lip scrub and then I put this balm on and I just have kissable lips. 
And then, you know, the smell goods, you know, a baby powder because it gets hot and sticky in Florida, deodorant, spray deodorant, all those things. My face wash, a razor, ca pure Castile soap. There's this little Finding Dory tin. Um, there's a lot of um, Q-tips in there. There's also some makeup remover wipes in here as well. And then, you know, we have cocoa butter, some Lysol to go, some foaming hand sanitizer, my hair oil, some cleansing wipes. And I also keep these in my park bag as well because I'm sorry, there ain't nothing like having a fresh ass. And then I have my rainbow cardigan that I love that I got from Shein. And then I always bring this laundry bag with me. It's foldable. Always have that, you know, for dirty clothes and things. And then I have my son's Nikes in here. And then I have these packing cubes. So for shoes, sorry, let me just show you guys. So I am bringing these um, flat shoes and I have my, like, my little socks stuffed in there. Um, these are some slip-ons from Walmart. They're memory foam and they are super duper comfortable. I can walk miles in those. Like Walmart has really been stepping up their shoe game. Then I have my Sanooks which are very comfortable as well. These are actually made out of uh, recycled yoga mats they are just super super comfortable no blisters with those and then I have my knockoff um, Adidas <laughs> from Walmart they're not Adidas like I said they're knockoff they're from Walmart you guys these things are so comfortable and so lightweight again memory foam it's like walking on freaking clouds those are the shoes I'm bringing um, in the carry-on and then I have two other pairs of shoes that I am going to um, show you when I get to my carry-on and what I'm wearing on the plane uh, we have another pair of shoes in here these are my son's Air Force Ones this packing cube I love this packing cube it has three different compartments um, you can store your socks underwear and bras in there so that's what's in there I'm not going to show that to you because again that will be weird these are the bags, two of the bags that I'm bringing. I was <laughs> going to bring some extra ones, but I plan on doing some shopping, so I'm not going to do that. Sorcerer Mickey bag that I was gifted from Bippity in my last unboxing. Make sure you check out that video. And then I have my Cusco Topia bag um, that I got from, it was either Mickey Lou or Bippity as well. And I love this bag and I decided to bring this one because it's a little bit larger than standard lounge flies and also the color is neutral so it can go with pretty much anything. And then I did put some things inside these bags in the Cusco Topia bag. I have like some belts and you know other like little bras and things that didn't fit in the other bag. And then in the Sorcerer Mickey bag I have um, our foam protection cases for the water park. Um, I think I have a fanny pack, a couple of other little wallets, um, just some accessories and belts and things like that that are stuffed in these two bags. So my carry-on, let's start with the front flap kind of coming out as you can see so there are some things there's some emergency in there um, some corn silk tea for me that I like to drink we also have some zip fizz for energy some liquid IVs um, I didn't have that many more liquid IVs left and I didn't have time to go to Costco but I went to Target and I found these and these are much lower in sugar and I found were even better and a lot cheaper so we are going to try those out because you know when you're in the parks you need to hydrate 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 so this is going to take care of all of that for us and then inside in the flap in this plastic bag it's just a little thing of um tie laundry detergent perfect if you know i need to wash something in the sink um particularly our masks or something like that and then i have my um a raincoat packed in there because you know florida and then um this is just a bag of medicines this is just like my carry on pharmacy i mean there's band-aids in here alka seltzer allergy relief ibuprofen um like gas x some um, extra contacts for me sleep aid pepto bismol like Anything, oh, uh, Dramamine for me because as I've gotten older, I have I get motion sickness. So like ride simulators, like star tours and things like that, like they leave me feeling sick. So I have to take motion sickness medicine, um, you know, neosporins in here just in case for blisters or anything like that. So this is like, you know, just my traveling pharmacy. 
All right, so here's what's inside. So these socks, I don't like my feet to be on hardwood floors. We are staying at Pop. <laughs> these socks are actually from when I was in the hospital and had my son. I think I've only worn them twice and I have another pair as well, <laughs> but I love them. And I have some other fuzzy socks as well that I can wear in the room. I have to have something on my feet. And then um, these are the other pair of shoes that I'm bringing. These are my Burks um, that I'm bringing. Just, you know, simple slip on stylish shoe if I need it. And then um, this is the other dress that I have in another color. It's just like the denim dress, but in another color. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. This is the other bag that I'm bringing, which is my Marvel bag. Um, you know, neutral color, it's black, and also it's bigger than a lot of the other lounge fly bags, which is why I'm bringing it. And then on it, this is like my ear lanyard holder. I got this on Etsy as well it focuses it's super super cute you just unbutton it and then you know your ears go through here so it's hanging if you don't want to you know wear them um all day at the park i'm um, inside of here i did stuff some things this is my vera bradley makeup bag so you know my makeup is in here which is to say it's not much i mean i have my tweezers in here my eyebrow pencil some mascara eyeliner powder sunscreen and that's basically it i mean covid times we're wearing, wearing a mask i mean but you know i am going to be on video so i got to look a little bit presentable in my brushes so that's what's in there and then you know huh, wipes okay we not playing around with coronavirus also i got mosquito wipes and mosquitoes love me um so i prefer the wipes to the spray so yes bringing those this is just one pack of masks um, that I have I also have some black disposable ones um, just because they're easier to breathe but you know come nighttime or you know if I want to be a little bit more stylish these are actually very breathable as well most of these masks in here are from Shein and I think this one back here is from Burlington Coat Factory um, but these are just you know some of the masks I also have my magic band that I got from um, my Bibbidi unboxing well one of my bibbity unboxings so make sure you find that video and check that out too this cube is going to be in my carry-on um i like to carry you know three or four outfits in my carry-on you know just in case my luggage or something my check luggage gets lost i have some clothes so this is that same dress like that denim one i showed you a utility dress from walmart that i got on clearance for 11 dollars, but just in a different color and then i have this shirt that i got made from etsy oh my god you guys let me show you this shirt y'all know how i feel about brandy cinderella and i got this made on etsy you guys look at that isn't that gorgeous impossible things are happening every day and then it's whitney and brandy and the pumpkin like i saw this on etsy and liked to died and put it in my basket immediately and purchased it um i'll be sure to link the shop below but it's gorgeous and I love it this is another shirt that I got off of Etsy that I am going to wear to Hollywood Studios Phantasmic is my favorite nighttime show ever um, so this is the shirt some imagination huh and then I have the perfect pair of ears that I'm gonna wear with this I know you guys saw one of my unboxings where they gave me some sorcerer Mickey ears but you guys I just got some ears that kick those ears ass and I am going to show you guys when I go through my ears in just a bit but it's going to go amazing with this shirt. Also in this cube just you know two other flowy shirts um, that are not Disney just some nice shirts to wear because um, I mean we're not going to be in the parks every day like we'll have some chill days we'll have some Disney spring days I think we actually might go to Universal Studios as well so that's why I like to bring like just you know some everyday plain shirts that I can just wear around I also have some light washing shorts a couple of pairs of underwear um, dark washing shorts and then um, some biker shorts that i can change into because when we land it's supposed to be hot it's supposed to be like 90 degrees so my plane outfit is pretty much like a uniform it's always the same which is pretty much black leggings some kind of shirt an oversized cardigan and my sneakers which i am going to be wearing my white Reeboks on the plane and I'm bringing these as well. These are so comfortable to wear around the parks, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is actually my second pair. Um, this is a new pair that I actually got on sale from Kohl's for like $43. I had to retire my old pair. Sadly, they were falling apart. So yeah, I'm wearing these for the plane. I'm wearing like this tunic 
length, like really comfortable uh, pink shirt. So I can change into these biker shorts, which are like camouflage pink if it's too hot for me. So that's what's in my carry on. And then this bag, it has my swimsuit. Um, Paisley print is really, really cute. Got it from Target. And then I have some um, swim shorts, especially for like the water park. I don't like to just be at water parks with just my cheeks hanging out. So I have some board shorts. And then I have my turtle sarong that I love. I've had this since I was 18 years old when I went to Cancun, Mexico for my high school graduation and purchased it. And I just love this sarong. So that's also going in the carry-on. So this is my personal item or my carry-on backpack. Um, the brand is Mate In and I got it from Amazon and I love this backpack because it has so many compartments and pockets to hide all the things. So first up you see, you know, got Pure Rail. Don't get it twisted, we had Pure Rail before COVID was even a thing, honey, because people are just nasty. Um, inside here I have some gum, I have uh, Zip Fizz, I have my empty water bottle on the side. Um, it's kind of peeling, but it's okay. Stainless steel, and I'm gonna fill it once I get past airport security. And then on the inside, um, I have wet ones here. You know, you know, germs. And then I have some tissues, pocket tissue, a pen and stylus, some Lysol to go. This is a clip where I can clip my keys. And then I have some cleansing wipes or alcohol cleansing wipes. 75% um, alcohol to keep things clean. Someone's phone's ringing, it's my son's phone. Okay, sorry about that. And then I have these zipper pouches. I love these. But I mean, this just has like a granola bar, some oil blotting um, sheets. This is my reusable straw because I can't stand paper straws and I know Disney uses that. Um, just some chapstick with some SPF, um, some roll on smell good, and then some sunscreen. And then this pouch, I was gifted from in one of these boxes, but it's Cusco. This is like my emergency kit and I put it in an orange red pouch because you know, burp burp, emergency. So there's a few things in here. We have this mini deodorant, native. I thought this was like the cutest thing ever, how small and compact this is and it smells so good. Um, will you focus? Okay, there we go. So I have that in there. I have, you know, some extra contacts, some chapstick, <laughs> bathroom spray. Um, I hate going into a bathroom and someone has like blown it up and they ain't even sprayed it or nothing. Um, lens re wetting wipes, uh, toilet seat covers, okay? You know, feminine stuff, Alka Seltzer. I have allergy medicine, motion sickness, some of the same little stuff that I had in my portable pharmacy. And then I also have like a Tide pen. Will you focus? But you guys get the gist. Just in case, you know, anything pops off and then, you know, an extra hair tie. So yeah, this is like my little emergency kit. And then I just, I simply just transfer it to my park bag. And then next in here, I have some makeup remover wipes. You know, just when you land, I wanna wipe my face or something like that. Again, um, the flushable cleansing cloth, like I said, there's nothing like having a fresh ass. And then, you know, something to snack on, like a, a, a Luna bar. I love Luna bars. So that is what's in there. And then in here, I have a few things. One of them is my Mickey fan. I love this thing. And it has like three different CDs. It is phenomenal. My son, he's also going to be bringing his own backpack with his things. And he has a fan as well. Um, he didn't want a mini fan, but you know, he has like a handheld fan that he can use if he needs to. I have my portable battery pack. This one is Anchor. I love this thing. I always take it to the parks with me. This is my first time at Disney World, but when I say parks, I mean like Disneyland and Knott's Berry Farm and like all the parks that I go to back home in California. Another thing I like about this backpack is I can plug this to my battery pack. And then on the side here, I can plug my phone and it can charge like on the outside so I don't have to like unzip every time I go in. So this is my electronic pouch and it just has some things in here. I have an extra battery pack for my camera as well as the charger. Um, these are like, you know, some adapters and memory cards, some plugs, some Velcro ties if I need to tie anything, my hard drive, and then also my camera manual. 
And then next, we have some disposable face masks. This is for my son. He prefers these to um, any kind of cloth ones. He has some Marvel ones as well as the, like an Adidas one that he loves. But for the most part, he wants cloth face masks because they're easier to breathe and I don't blame him. And then I have, you know, my sunglasses. I have a few pair in here. And I think that's pretty much it in that pocket. And then also have my wallet. It's nothing fantastic. Um, this is just a wallet that I like to travel with that I got from Walmart. And then in this zipper has my name on it. I have just like a couple of things that are going in my carry-on, you know, for vlogging in my camera. Like I have an extra cube there, an extra battery pack, my wireless headphones um, to put on my tripod if I want to use my phone instead of my camera. I also have uh, lens wipes and then the ring light for the camera. I love this thing. So if I'm vlogging on my camera and I need some light, I can use that little ring light there. And then I also have this little drive. So like if I'm vlogging on, you know, my phone and it runs out of memory, whatever, this is like a hard drive I could plug into my iPhone and then I can transfer it to the computer or USB. So really cool, got this off of Amazon, love this thing. And then also in there is, this is a camera case. Well, my camera case for my camera. I have the G7X Mark II and just has, you know, some zipper pockets. And then like, if I want to strap it like to my belt or something, I can do that too, cause it's Velcro. So I love this little thing. So camera case. And I also have these clips that are coming with me. These are so cute. So you know how like back in the day you used to tie up the side of your shirt, you used to have these clips, but these are it and they're Mickey shaped. So you can like put your shirt through if you wanna tie up your shirt a little bit. I got these off of Etsy as well and I think that they are super, super cute. So they're coming along with me. And yeah, I love these. So let's get into ears. These are the ears that I'm bringing. If you guys have been with me, you guys know, it's not until recently that I've gotten into ears. I've only had like two pair of ears that I hardly ever wear, but these are the ears. Let's get in to it. This is the first pair of ears and they are the 3D and they're Cinderella Castle and they are rose gold. And I put them in this case to protect them and all of my ears are coming in my carry-on. I do not trust it to be in the check luggage. This is precious a cargo, but it's beautiful. These are gorgeous. I got these off of Etsy. I believe this is from Magic Mountain Ears. I believe so. I will um, drop all the info for the ears down below. This is my second pair of ears that I bought on a shop Disney haul. I love these confetti. It's just like a celebration because indeed it is a celebration up in here. These ears over here I got from an Etsy small shop and I will be sure to link her shop below. But these ears, you guys, these ears, I love these ears because one, they are so freaking comfortable and they bend and they stretch and they do not give you headache. I tested out these ears and I wore them working from home for the entire day. They did not hurt my head at all. And these are Moana inspired ears. And then like, look, I don't know if it'll focus, but the stitching on the inside, like, Phenomenal. Another thing I love about this Etsy shop is that she does the ears in different sizes. So one of the reasons why I didn't like to wear the ears because of the headache is because I think sometimes they're too big and these are perfect. So she has the extra large or the, or the large ears, which is like your standard ear. And look at the difference. These are just a tad bit smaller, which is perfect for me. So I, I love her shop and I will probably, well, I know I will be more ordering more ears from her in the future. Um, she'll probably be pretty much one of my only ear vendors just because like I said, so comfortable. Prices are reasonable. I think I paid $20 for these or something like that. I know I did not pay over $30. I don't even think I paid over 25. Um, and like I said, very comfortable, handmade, and I just love these, and these are Moana inspired. 
And then this is from the same Etsy shop, the same lady. These are some Baby Yoda ears, which are so cute. I'll probably rock these to Animal Kingdom because I have the ones I'm gonna wear to uh, Hollywood Studios that we'll get into in a bit. These are just some classic ears with the blue bow to symbolize Sorcerer Mickey, because y'all know I love Sorcerer Mickey. If y'all hear the yelling and screaming upstairs, I apologize, my son is playing Fortnite once again. So y'all, these are like my bells of the ball right here. So. Y'all know I was gifted with some Sorcerer Mickey ears that I was planning to wear to Hollywood Studios. I'm sorry, but these ears put those ears to freaking shame, honey. Do you hear me? This is from an Etsy small shop as well. This is from Who's It's and What's It's. These actually arrived in the nick of time because of the snow we had here in Colorado. Mail was delayed by a day and I am leaving tonight and these ears came today. So oh, I'm so happy about this. And you guys, the white portions, they glow in the dark. So yeah, I am super excited about these ears wearing the Hollywood Studios with my Fantasmic shirt, that red Some Imagination shirt that I showed you guys earlier. So, ah, so excited. So that is everything, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and packing with me. Um, a couple of things that I didn't show, we do have like some other like snacks, like my son is bringing his own backpack, so he has some stuff in there. Of course, he's bringing his tablet, his phone, his Nintendo Switch, all that other stuff. Um, also, I do plan on doing laundry at the hotel, so I do have, um, they're actually, I think they're called Easy Wash. Um, I got them off of Amazon, but they're sheets, and they're washer sheets, fabric softener, and dryer sheets like all rolled up into one um so that was probably like hiding in one of my lounge fly bags so that is everything you guys thank you so much for tuning in i can't believe i'm going to disney world in just a few short hours uh this is a very special trip for me, this is a bucket list trip for me. I've never been, I've been dreaming about going to Disney World since I was four years old. Disneyland is my home park, so that's all I've ever known. And I just need this Disney magic. And like I said, it's special to me, me and my son, and I paid for this vacation by myself. So, till next time you guys, have a magical, magical day. Bye.